Hey Warriors, so it's been about two full weeks, maybe longer, since I have filmed anything. Um, I did, I wrote a community post, I think this past Monday, um, just sharing that my caseload at work um, more than doubled. And so I went from being like busy and feeling like I'm treading water to feeling like I'm drowning overnight. So it's been a rough couple weeks to say the least. Um, and when it comes to like <laughs> my weight loss journey, I am, I am not doing well, okay? Exercise or diet wise, like I am just, I'm not doing well. Um, I was actually talking to Mama Warrior um, a couple days ago. And if you don't know, like today is what Sunday the, sorry, I have to look at what day it is. Oh my gosh. Sunday the 28th of March. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is perfect, by the way. Um, I do not care. That's, that's, oh, goodness gracious. Hold on. There we go. Um, that perfectly sums up how I've been feeling the last couple weeks is just hashtag I do not care or hashtag F it all. Like that's how I've been feeling. Um, but I was talking to Mama Warrior the other day and I definitely have a pattern. Um, like even this past December when I went on the binge spree, the like trigger for that or the, I guess the final trigger for that was stuff going on at work that just really like stressed and overwhelmed me. And that was the trigger for this past two weeks where I have not been working out or eating right. Um, and so I've really been trying to like look at this pattern and kind of analyze it <laughs> and try and figure out like what's going on, what can I do to try and prevent it again in the future and I think what happens is yes, like when things like this happen at work where my stress levels just go from like here to here, like somewhere out in the void somewhere. Um, plus on top of that, me already being in a place where mentally and emotionally, I already feel like it's time to move on <laughs> as far as like my career path goes um and just kind of feeling stuck like don't get me wrong I, I love what I do I do but I feel like I've gotten to the point where I've been doing it so long and that like those feelings of just compassion fatigue and burnout and even some like secondary trauma like they've they've been settling in more and more for a long time and I'm just at a point to where it yeah <laughs> um, the smart thing would be for me to do something different in terms of like my career um, and that's not me saying like not be a therapist. It's just looking for a job where it's not as high intensity or high risk as what I currently do. Um, so yeah, I feel like that also just compounds the stress and overwhelm that I already feel whenever things like this happen at work. But as I was saying, with my dysthymia, or as I've talked about in my previous video, my high functioning depression, it's already a challenge for me to get done the things that I need to get done to function at a normal or close to normal level across life domains, you know, of work, household chores, health, all of those things. Like it's already difficult for me to do that. 
Um, there isn't a night that I don't go to bed just feeling mentally and emotionally and physically drained. And a lot of the most days, it's way before I go to bed. Um, so when things like this happens, <laughs> and I kind of have to like shift the energy that I have and focus even more of it towards work, everything else just kind of, it just falls off to the wayside and I just get into this like f it all. Um, because by the time I'm done with work, like I don't have, I honestly don't feel like I have anything left to give, I guess, if that makes sense. And so that's where I'm at right now, where I'm just kind of feeling, I just, I have been possessed by the F it all demon again. Yeah. That being said, I have also, when I've kind of been looking at these patterns of behaviors for me when it comes to when I fall off the wagon like this and the things that trigger these episodes. Um, I also, I mean, I kind of have to give myself props in the sense that my level of resilience um, and tolerance for feelings of stress and overwhelm has gone up a lot over the years. Um, before, like a couple years ago, the smallest life stressor could have set me off and caused me to like give up on my weight loss journey, go on bench sprees, whatever. Like it could have been something as simple as a 24 to 72 hour cold. And I would just be like, eh, mm, yeah, I'm done because of my like perfectionist personality and those all or nothing thoughts that I really struggle with. Like honestly, the smallest of things could have led me astray when it comes to weight loss before. Um, or f even for instance, like a couple weeks ago, and I'm still kind of recovering from bronchitis, but when I was really in like the thralls of my bronchitis, um, in the past by like day two or three of having bronchitis, I would have been like, I'm just going to order a pizza <laughs> like, and I'm going to eat it all. Uh, <laughs> so the fact that I made it through that like two weeks of really, really being sick while still watching what I ate and working out at least a little bit every day. Um, it just goes to show that my resilience has gone up a lot. Like the fact that it takes me to get to this point as far as my stress levels is concerned before I am like, fuck it. That is in and of itself a victory for me. It's, it's still, it's a sucky victory because I'm still in that fuck it all <laughs> mentality at the moment, but it's a victory and I got to take it. Um, and I have to recognize the progress that I have made. And despite being in this mindset that I'm in right now, I haven't yet gotten to the point where I'm like, I don't want to try and lose weight anymore. Screw health, screw fitness, screw weight loss. I'm just going to eat whatever I want and see y'all later. Like I'm, I still feel dedicated to my weight loss journey. I still feel like that's still my goal. I still want to lose the weight. And this is just feeling like a setback more than anything and a learning opportunity. So that is also a victory for me that I'm, cause I mean, in December, I was almost to that point. In December, I was almost to the point where I was like, bye YouTube, I'm like, I'm gonna go eat myself into oblivion. <laughs> See you later. Um, but I'm not there yet and that, that's good. <laughs> and I don't plan on letting myself get to that point. So yeah. I seriously wish that I had had a YouTube channel like even like five years ago so that you could actually see like the difference between me then and me now as far as what it takes in order to trigger me to like fall off the diet and workout bandwagon even for like a week or two because um, it's a huge difference. It's, I've, I've made a lot of progress. And right now this really feels sucky. It really does because I can feel the weight that I've put on in the past two weeks. Like I, I can feel it. Um, and I, 
have all of those like all or nothing thoughts that are like, Laura, you've already been off your diet for like two weeks. Like who cares? Like just, you know, and (laughs) I'm having to battle those. Um, And it's hard, but I don't feel like it's impossible anymore. Um, it's it's going to be hard because even in December, I only fell off for maybe like a week, week and a half. And it's already been, what, two, probably a little bit over two weeks. So it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard getting back on track. It is every single time. Even if I go, and you guys tell me. Even if you like fall off for like a day or two, does it feel like a monumental undertaking when you have to like get back on track? I, like I can literally just fall off the wagon for like a day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? Like it feels so overwhelming. So falling off for two weeks, it literally feels like I'm at the base of a mountain. <laughs> and I'm scared to death to try and climb it, but gonna have to. So the plan for how I'm going to get back on track is doing what I did in December to like get back on track after my binge spree. Um, And what I did in December is I focused on getting back on track as far as like exercising, working out first. And then the diet just kind of naturally followed that because I'm one of those people, again, it goes back to my all or nothing thinking. I hate working out and then eating like 5,000 calories and feeling like all of the work I did when I worked out was for nothing. Like I hate that. Um, And so if I can get back on track with the exercise, getting back on track with my diet and eating um, in my caloric range usually just kind of naturally comes from that because I want my working out to feel like there's a purpose to it. Like I'm actually working out to lose weight. So my plan um, is to get back with the working out. And I think what I'm gonna do, cause last time I was doing it first thing in the morning and just getting out of the way, because if I wait till the evening, especially like right now, like with not working out for a couple weeks, <laughs> um, by the time the evening rolls around and I've had that entire day of work, I just, I'm, again, I'm like, I don't wanna do it. Um, so I'm going to be working out like first thing in the morning, doing like a half hour walk away the pound video. Um, <clears throat> I was going to try and do live streams this past week in the evening so that I would have like that extra layer of accountability and I even put that in the community post. But then our care coordinators decided to schedule meetings every night for the rest of the week. And so by the time I got off work at like 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock, I was like, no, thank you. Anyways, that's kind of my plan moving forward is I'm going to start with the working out and then letting my diet and eating my caloric range just kind of fall into back into place. Last time in December when I did it, um, it only took a couple days. So I'm hoping this will be the same thing. I've tried it where I focused like on the diet first and for whatever reason, I don't know, that just doesn't work for me. I just tend to have a higher likelihood of success when I start with exercise first. I don't know what it is. I don't, maybe I'm just weird. I really do feel like it just goes back to like my all or nothing thinking and that you just that pattern of thinking. Um, I I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> um, and I'll probably raise my caloric range back up to like 16 to 1900 until I get back into eating in that caloric range for like a week or so. And then if I, I can lower it back down to like 14, 1500 to 1700 or whatever, whatever it was. So this is going to be rough. (laughs) Like I said, I, I still feel dedicated to reaching my weight loss goals. And this still feels like a setback more than anything, but at the same time, it still just feels overwhelming to think about trying to get back on track. So I'm just kind of like, on a (laughs) teeter-totter as far as like my emotions and thoughts are concerned. 
<sighs> yeah. I'm hoping that I only have um, two days of work this week. So, because Trenton's getting married, so I took three days of vacation off. So I'm hoping that will help. I'll have a couple days to just like chill out a little bit. And I've kind of been going like back and forth on, do I want to vlog this next week or two as I'm like trying to get back on track? Would it be helpful to you guys? I don't know. <laughs> um... Because I feel like a lot of my vlogs are just going to be me like trying to use my coping skills to deal with my binging craving thoughts because heaven knows I'm going to be struggling with those for a little while. Um, it took a good like six weeks after my December binge spree in order to get them down to a manageable place where I didn't feel like I was constantly thinking about food nonstop. So, <laughs> but at least for this next week or two, it's probably going to be really bad. And that's probably going to be the bulk of my vlogs, like me trying to use my coping skills to distract myself and cope with my binge thoughts and my cravings, <laughs> which I mean, may be good for you guys to see, because let's be honest, um, weight loss journeys, they are not linear. Like I say this all the time, especially for me. I have a food addiction, okay? And like any other addiction, recovery is not linear. Like it's up, down, everywhere. It's like a roller coaster, okay? You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days, good weeks, bad weeks, good months, bad months. It is what it is. And if you're looking for someone who's like on the straight and narrow path when it comes to like their health and weight loss, you're watching the wrong channel, okay? Because <laughs> that is not me, all right? Um, this is probably not going to be my last setback, but if you're looking for something real, then you're in the right place. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe I might vlog that so you guys can kind of see what the next week or two looks like as far as me like trying to get back on track with my diet and exercise. And maybe I'll just put like a warning in the beginning of those vlogs because I don't want to trigger anybody else to like also fall off the bandwagon. So yeah, maybe I'll just do that. There probably won't be any informational, you know, videos this next couple of weeks and like anything on like weight loss or mental health tips or anything like that because I don't know I personally when I'm not doing like really well in my own weight loss journey and I try to make something that's like more mental health or weight loss like tips I don't know I just feel like a fraud it may just be me it may just be like imposter syndrome but eh. <laughs> um so it'll probably if anything maybe be just the vlogs or I might do like some weight loss challenges like with the the quote in the journal um and like a mini challenge for the day type of thing but anything like educational or tips probably won't be seen for a while until I can get back on track man I am dreading these next couple weeks I can't even describe how much I am dreading it because I know <sighs> the cravings and the binge thoughts and the all or nothing thinking at least for the next like one to two weeks is literally going to feel all consuming um because that's just how it is for me all right so i think that is it for today's kind of update video um i wish i had better news i wish that i could say these past two weeks i was just able to like stay the course and um, do everything right when it came to my eating and exercising, even in the face of like so much stress and chaos, but I can't and that's okay. It's just a setback and I'm still feeling dedicated to my weight loss goals. I'm still feeling like I can get through this and that everything's going to be okay. It's gonna suck for a little while, again, but it's going to be okay because I have proven to myself time and time again that I can work through this. Even though then it feels like I have to do all the work that I already did over again, but you know, eh, it's 
such as life. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and for your unconditional support and encouragement. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by liking and subscribing and giving it two thumbs way, way up. And make sure to tap on that notification bell so you can join me next time. Bye everyone.